Hey, my name is Coach Brian Good, and thank you very much for pressing play on the video today. Today's video is something what I hope you'll take something away from and understand that some of the things what we do can have impact, okay? So, I'm going to tell you a story about the Moores family, okay? If you grew up or lived in an area in Nottingham where I grew up, okay, you'll know of the Moores family, okay? The Moores family was a family of Jamaican parents, okay? Mum and dad came from Jamaica, they had a lot of siblings, and um, trust me, this family made impact on a lot of people wherever they went, okay? And I'm going to tell you why. You see, when there was a party, christening, wedding, um, anything to do with any form of entertainment, music, Okay, I can guarantee you that when the Moors were there, okay, man, when the Moors were there, it was a different experience. I'm going to tell you why. You see, when the Moors, I'm talking about the senior Moor, Moors, Mr. and Mrs. Moor, came to any wedding, party, or christening, or anything to do with music, when they get upon the dance floor, when they get upon the dance floor, everybody gathers round them. You know when back in the day when you used to have break dancing troops and people would kind of get together and watch what's going on? Yes, it was just like that. Once they got up out their seat and the music was playing and you seen them dancing, wow. Everybody formed a circle around them. As they were doing some moves, what you just had to just watch in awe of Mr. and Mrs. Moore. Now, they were amazing dancers. Everywhere they went, they made people look at them. Okay, people loved them for that. Okay, they were an amazing couple. Rest his soul, Mr. Moore. Amazing couple. Anywhere the music was playing, they was there dancing. Anyway, the music was playing, I can guarantee you had to wiggle your way through to see them dancing. That's Mr. and Mrs. Moore. On top of that, they had a lot of siblings. On top of that, they had a lot of siblings. Now, if you think Mr. and Mrs. Moore were great dancers, well, they say the apple don't dress come far from the tree. Trust me. When their kids started getting up and dancing also, Predominantly Philip Moore, Noel Moore, and again, Paul Moore, rest his soul, or known as Pablo. When they got up and started dancing, wow! You could just open your mouth and do this. The moves, what they did. Wow, you can imagine the energy, what was going on in their house every day, okay? But they were known for being very artistic, very musical. And obviously they were a loving family, they, you know, they never caused trouble or anything like that. And the mum and dad were amazing, okay? So, you may think, well, why are you going on about the Moors? Well, it's not so much the Moors, but even though they're amazing, right? But what I'm saying is, from a family of mum and dad came the children, okay? The children were amazing. From the mum and dad who was always dancing, and made in light of any situation, any Christian, any party, any wedding, they lit it up with their dance moves. Everybody knows that. You know, anybody who kind of knows Stenton very well, okay, they will know about the Moors. Right. So what I'm getting on to here is this. They made impact, not only on my life, okay, but other people's life around me. Okay, and around the area, right? So they made the impact. The impact was quite positive. Yes, the impact is very positive. So positive that I will remember this for the rest of my life. I will remember those experiences for the rest of my life, what I've seen with them. Okay, that's the impact they made. So, whether you're going out in the morning, noon or night, we're watching this video from morning, noon or night. Just remember, what you do can positively impact somebody else's life. Okay? What you do, the actions you do, 
positively can impact somebody else's life. The actions you also do negatively can also impact somebody else's life. So you must decide because every move what you make, a lot of the time, somebody's watching. Whether that be a little child growing up or whether that be somebody who's older, okay, they are watching. And what you say, okay, what you do is going to impact somebody, okay? And if you do it, if you impact somebody positively, trust me, they'll carry that in their mind, in their life, for the rest of their life. And if you impact somebody negatively also, you will impact them or even mess them up mentally, okay? So they may not have that confidence to draw upon things what did impact them negatively. If it's positive, it normally impacts you for the rest of your life, okay? Now, my experience of the Moors is something what impacted my family, even my family were impacted by the Moors, okay? And I had a lot of positive role models around me. Trust me, I had a lot of positive role models around me and a lot of like people what made impact on my life. So that's why I'm going on about the Moors, okay? There's one more story. Mr. Moore used to work at, uh, I think it was Sunbless on Hopnell Road in Nottingham. He used to ride his bike everywhere. The first job I ever had when I left school was at a timber yard, okay? FW Masons, okay? Best three years of my life, I got sacked there for fighting, okay? Once I got sacked there for fighting, in the hearing, I got to understand that people have two faces or people talk with a, th a forward tongue. But let me get on to this. So I used to see Mr. Moore, because I had a bicycle <coughs> at 16. I used to ride to work, ride back from work. When I was riding back from work, who did I always used to see? Mr. Moore riding in his bicycle. Okay? That is the impact. Okay? What I still remember. Okay? I used to ride to and fro, fro to work from Snenton or Colic to uh, Hucknall Road. Okay? Great impact what it made on me. So, these small things, I call them small wins. What we go through life picking up, if we can go through life picking up small wins, positive things, okay? It doesn't mean that you're going to have a positive life. Just equally, sometimes if you're picking up these little negative things as you go through life, doesn't mean you're going to have a negative life. But it's about how you're going to change your life, okay? And what things you may have done as you're progressing, Okay, or just going along your daily travels in life, what are going to make impact upon you mentally, okay, which is very important. We all talk about the mindset. You've got to sometimes have things going on, what you've actually seen as you're growing up positively to make you have a certain mindset. But equally, you can have negative things happen. Some great people that do great things, okay, will tell you that they come from a really, really, really negative background. So, if you've got something, you've got a skill, okay, what may have passed you by, why not still have time to pass on what you know to somebody else, okay? So this can have massive impact, positive impact on their life, okay? And if you have something, you're not willing to pass it on, I deem that as very negative. Why? Because sometimes you know that you can pass on something what's going to impact somebody else's life, which could make a change to their life, what, they, what could actually lead them onto greatness, could actually lead them onto some form of greatness. So, once again, I'll use the story about the Moors, king of entertainment, mother and father were the best dancers around, liked a penny party, the kids, siblings, what they had, once the parents are there at the party, the kids are there partying too. Circles are formed. This is the impact they made. Listen, have a great day. Thank you very much for pressing play on this video.
And remember to stay blessed. Have a great day. Thank you for pressing play.